Thank you for joining us today. We are first going to take a look at GIMPUT's Federal Opportunities Database. I'm currently looking at the Federal Opportunities Advanced Search screen, which allows you to search on over 7,000 active Federal Opportunities that we're currently tracking today. As you can see, there's many different ways that you can search and sort for the opportunities that you care about by keyword, by program and acronym, by solicitation number. You can also search by department or agency or office. You can also search by specific milestone dates, contract incumbents, contract numbers, and so forth. In terms of pulling up the kinds of opportunities that you care about, there's really several different ways you could do that. One is by going into our taxonomy tree of requirements. We have a breakdown of primary and secondary requirements, as well as NAICS codes. You can also search by keyword. So I could type in, let's say, systems integration and uh, cybersecurity. I can just type that in, or I could go ahead and just say, or, which will allow me to see any opportunities that have systems integration or cybersecurity in the results. Simply going ahead and clicking any active will allow me to pull up the opportunities. Again, if I want, I can down select to a specific department. It will cascade down to the different agencies and offices, or I could leave that alone. So let's go ahead and take a quick search here. I'm going to choose any active, so any non-awarded federal opportunities. So of our 7,000 active federal opportunities, here's 899 by those uh, two keywords. So let's run uh, a, a few other uh, quick keyword searches. For example, I can do base operations, let's say, and I can put in a couple of different variations here. You can put in acronyms and what they stand for. Um, let's do facilities management or facilities maintenance. Now, as you can see, you can have a, a fairly long keyword string, but if you want, you can do the, the AND, but that's going to significantly cut down your results. So I recommend to just have the operator of OR. So if we run that, let's take a look at our results. 855 active opportunities. And as you can see here, there's a status. So pre-RFP means uh, we have basically confirmed that this indeed is coming out to bid in the future. And as you can see, this one's coming out uh, estimated in, in uh, November of 2014. Uh, everything's in K dollars in input. Um, as you can see, there's some larger opportunities here, but you can certainly see opportunities anywhere from $500,000 and higher in total ceiling value. You can also see opportunities where we say forecast pre-RFP. These are really critical. For folks that really have leaned on input um, over the past uh, few decades, one of the, the, the critical components that they'll say in terms of why they use input is our ability to forecast. And what we mean by that is um, some opportunities may be kicked around an office, they may be uh, being considered by a program manager or a contracting officer, but they may not fully have rubber stamped it yet, they may not have fully confirmed the budget. Where input comes in is we look at uh, GAO reports, we look at exhibit data, uh, we look at a myriad of different documents to really put all the elements together to confirm whether we feel that this opportunity is going to come out for bid or rebid in the future. Some may have incumbents already in place and there's an existing contract in place, or there just may be a brand new requirement. Again, you're leaning on inputs expertise in Bing business for over 36 years to really know how the government works, how the federal market works. And our analysts are savvy with dealing with the same contracting officers and program managers day in and day out and a lot of the CXO level folks. So we're leaning on those relationships year in and year out and we're able to gather an incredible amount of information to again allow you to make the most informed decisions.